The Hells Angels days in New South Wales could be numbered. Police have applied to the Supreme Court to have the bikey gang declared a criminal organisation. It's been more than 15 months since the deadly Sydney airport brawl between the Hells Angels and the Common Chero, but police have finally wheeled out their tough anti-bikey laws. First cab off the rank is the Hells Angels, with a dossier of evidence handed to the Supreme Court. It's serious criminal activity which ranges from a wide variety of offences all the way from murder down to um, illicit drug trafficking. The first hearing is later this month, but bikies are already protesting their innocence. More police in the last 12 months in Australia have been arrested than motorcycle club members. It's a two-step process. First, the police must convince a Supreme Court judge the Hells Angels meet for the purpose of serious criminal activity and pose a threat to public safety. Only then can they apply for control orders. If gang members associate with each other or hold certain jobs, they'd face two to five years jail. There will be uh, between 45 and 50 people affected. But the United Motorcycle Council says it would be based on secret police intelligence. That the Hells Angels won't be able to see, or their lawyers won't be able to see, and it's already been proven before many, many times in court that secret police intelligence is mainly nothing more than hearsay and innuendo. In South Australia, the Finks have taken similar laws all the way to the High Court. What they are in effect saying is, hang on, uh, I have a right to associate with whomever I like, Police here say they're waiting for their own test case to run but don't want other gangs to rest easy. It, uh, it won't end here. Based on the South Australian experience, it will be a long road. The process involving uh, New South Wales, that may involve uh, a number of years. Today's action also targets about 50 people in a state where police estimate outlaw bikey numbers reach 1,600. Matt Wordsworth, ABC News.